What's up everybody? I'm the Kumo Sensei and I have to be honest, I have, you know, been in the anime hobby for about 10 years or a little over 10 years now and I only have five anime figures. You heard that correctly. As of now, I only have five anime figures. The reason why is because anime figures are expensive. And to be honest, I'm going to talk about bootlegs today because I was so caught off guard about how much bootlegs have progressed that it's becoming harder and harder to identify them. And yes, I'm going to show you some examples of some really shitty bootlegs. And I'm going to show you, you know, how tricky it is on modern anime bootlegs. But anyhow, let me show you the first obvious one. This is the one that everyone always talked about back in the day. It, which is this shitty looking Sasuke here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it looks like he's a dwarf from uh, Snow White. You know, he could be one of them. You never know <laughs> looking at this bootleg. <laughs> yeah, this was bootlegs back then, which to be honest, it was very noticeable. Like you can easily tell it was a freaking bootleg. Now this is a great example of a really shitty bootleg. This L. I mean, look at it. It doesn't even look human. Not even in anime standards, it doesn't look human. It's crazy. And this is what I was aware of when it comes to bootlegs. But, you know, and the, yeah, the uh, Fate Stay Night Saber bootleg. <laughs> oh god, that's nightmare feel. But over time, anime bootlegs have become so... Hmm, I wouldn't say perfected, but so hard to identify from the real thing that you had to use little nitpicks here and there just to, you know, identify them apart. And it's so strange how far it's come because, you know, none of my anime figures are bootlegs because most of them, I got them when they came out. That's how old I am. And yes, even the figure you see right there, the Katanako 7th Dragon 2020 figure, it was originally, I think, around a hundred to hundred twenty dollars but now it's like four hundred dollars for that figure what a beautiful figure it was worth every penny but yeah i don't really buy anime figures as much now because they're getting more expensive because of the materials they used to make it and just a little quick fact for those who don't know uh back then when it came to anime figures most of them were made out of pvc and trust me if it got hot or if it got too humid it really wasn't good for your anime figures now they use uh abs or uh, was that bestos or something to make uh anime figures they use that to make the stands and whatnot so it doesn't your figures don't bend over much anymore which i'm very thankful for honestly a huge improvement but what it also did is that better materials makes prices go up and which is why anime figures nowadays are more expensive but i have to say though if anime bootlegs are getting better, that means that the people that are making these bootlegs are also getting smarter, which is not a good thing. And what really infuriates me is that sometimes there are people who are legit trying to sell bootleg figures to, you know, anime hobbyists. And those who are unaware of bootlegs or those who are naive ends up buying it, which I don't stand for that shit at all. I think we should support the anime industry. But at the same time, we should be aware of these bootleggers and these knockoffs because this shit is going to get harder and harder to identify apart, you know? But man, I was so unaware of how good bootlegs are becoming that, you know, because I'm a bit on and off in the anime hobby now. So when it comes to anime, I just watch it, you know, passionately. I don't really watch it hardcore anymore. But I have to say, though, these bootlegs and these knockoffs need to stop. But the sad part is it won't. The only thing I can suggest is that you should buy from reputable sources. I'm talking about, you know, I'm talking like Ami Ami, for example, uh, Play Asia. I know they sell games, but they also sell anime figures. And, you know, a bunch of more reputable places to buy good anime figures that are real. But overall, I just want to give my small thoughts here and there because it feels like I've been a bit disconnected when it comes to anime figures that now I'm very concerned about, you know, how good these bootleggers are becoming at making these fakes. But anyhow, I'm the Kumo Sensei, and yeah, I just want to give a quick thought or two on this. And with that, I am out. See ya.